All right, we are back with yet another, another podcast, and this is Greg Kimball, and I'm just, I'm just going to keep doing it anyway, and that is the title of today's podcast is Do It Anyway. Right now, we are all finding ourselves with more time than we're used to. Uh, one thing that is happening is people are having more personal conversations with their loved ones, personal conversations with the, uh, with themselves, you know, they're, they're in a self discovery and figuring things out. So you, you have no excuse to have an excuse. So if you want to learn guitar and you're, you're kind of wrestling with whether or not you want to get up or do the lesson or run the scales, do it anyway. If you're struggling with listening to the book, do it anyway. If you're struggling with getting out of bed at a certain time, do it anyway. If you're, if you're struggling with being able to follow through with anything that you're saying to yourself right now that is dependent on you, do it anyway. You know, sometimes the, the great philosophy or sorry, the great philosopher Nike, uh, what, what was his name, Phil Knight, I think he made that company. Just do it is a great way to look at things, and I have a whole talk that I give to people called Do It Anyway. It, you gotta, it, it, what was that book, Feel the Fear and Do It Anyway? That's, that's a great mantra. Most people are just scared of change. Well, guess what? Change has happened. Change is here. Change is here to stay, and you might as well change in a good way. You might as well transcend what used to be normalcy, what used to be the status quo, what used to be normal, and do it anyway. Now, what is it? It is that little voice inside of you that said, hey, you know what? You can be more. It is that little voice inside of you that said, you know what, read a book today. It is that little voice inside of you that said, my future self doesn't eat donuts. My future self doesn't eat, overeat. My future self is healthy. Okay, listen to your future self and become that person. What you want to try to accomplish today, or sorry, what you want to try to accomplish tomorrow is the choices that it's completely dependent on the choices that you make today. So a couple things about the reason I chose do it anyway. I was up until four o'clock in the morning last night. I was up until four o'clock in the morning working on strategies, concepts, ideas, pivot points, everything that I'm doing in my business to move us forward to move myself forward, to move my family forward. But I'm also playing a little bit of the stock market game. That means that I've got to get up in the morning. I've got to get out of bed. I've got to be alert. I've got to make good decisions. So I was up at 6.30. That's two and a half hours of sleep. Now we have this call that is the 3.33 call. Now I was there for that. I showed up. I showed out. I had all the energy that you could imagine. But man, I was tired when it was done. As, as we sit right now, it's 6.09, and I'm tired. I'm sleepy. And I was out there on the couch in the lobby, and we were deciding, should we eat something? Should we maybe do this? Should we maybe do that? And I just thought to myself, man, I didn't do a podcast today. And my wife even gave me an out. She said, you know, you, you really showed up for people today. I thought today's call was a great one. You never said you were going to put a podcast out every single day. And I said, you know what? That's when the hiatus starts. And one of the things, I can't remember what book it was in, but it talks about having great habits. And 
just to be super clear, I'm not committing to right now I'm going to do a podcast every day for the rest of my life. It's just this is a season where I am going to be doing a podcast every single day. I don't know when this season stops, but I know that it doesn't stop today. And as tired as I was out there, as much as I didn't want to do this, I did it anyway. You've got to be willing to do the things that other people are not willing to do if you want all of the things that people wished that they would have had and, and could have had and would have, should have, could have that, that are so prevalent in everyone's life. But the people who have those things, and I'm not saying from a materialistic standpoint, I'm saying the people who have a sense of self-worth, a sense of pride, um, make an impact. An impact does not always have to be followed directly by a monetary correlation. Impact, so many times, is showing up. And you are going to fail 100% of the times that you don't show up. You know, they, they say you miss 100% of the shots that you don't take. There's some truth to that. You've got to keep swinging for the fences. You've got to show up for yourself. I talk a lot about how do you occur? How do you occur for other people? And how do you, most importantly, occur for yourself? I am occurring today as someone who showed up. I am occurring today as someone who did it anyway. Am I tired? Yes. Am I stressed? Yes. But so what? I'm going to show up. I'm going to do it anyway. I'm going to do those things that everybody else will let slip. Now, circling back, I know that my thoughts are kind of all over the place. I'm not as focused as I could be and usually am. Why? Because I'm tired. But again, I'm doing this anyway. But he talks about setting up yourself for success and just on a calendar, writing down, hey, I'm going to do this, 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 and this. And if I get this accomplished... I'm going to put an X through it. And this is just my daily habit, my daily routine. This is what me succeeding at business and life looks like if I have gotten these things done. It could be scheduling for the day that's happening tomorrow. It could be going over. It could be jour journaling. It could be your fitness. It could be all of the above. But you write down the minimum tasks that have to show up on your calendar completed for you to say, I am succeeding at life. For you to say, I am succeeding in this day. I have conquered this day. I was in control of my own destiny and I showed up for me. I made a difference for me. And then all you have to do is don't break the chain. Now, don't make it so hard that it's almost impossible to do it consistently. But you know what? Right now with the time that I have, right now with where I'm at, and Boulder just got put on a stay-at-home order. We're going to try to come in tomorrow anyway, and we'll see how well that works. But I was laying out there on the couch, and, and I was like, man, I've expended a lot of energy coaching people today and showing up on the 333. What, what would I talk about? And then I just... When, when I told myself, you know, do it anyway, I said, you know what? Everyone else probably needs that same message. Why? Because I needed the message. I'm not necessarily talking to you right now. I'm talking to me right now. That's how important this concept and this idea is. It is so important to just do it anyway. If you've committed to yourself to show up for yourself, do it anyway. If you've committed to yourself to show up for other people, hey, do it anyway. One more push-up. Go the final percent for yourself. Go the final percent for your daily routine. Go the final percent for consistency. Go the final percent for what's possible. The whole point of the final percent, this company that I built, the whole point of the final percent is living and leading and building an exponential life. It's those small little things that can happen that explode into the huge things in life. Because what's more important? A billion dollars. I'd say that's a pretty significant thing. Or the love of my wife. 
those little moments that we look at each other. Those little moments where we kiss each other. The, the little moments where she brings me coffee in the morning. The, the little moments where I'll surprise her with her favorite snack or, or whatever it is. Those little moments are the exponential part of life. Now, don't get me wrong. A billion dollars makes a lot of things much easier in life. But it's a byproduct of you living an exponential life. You've got to show up for yourself and then show up for those amazing people that you have in your life. And the material things will just kind of show up. But, but think about, you will never have enough of things that you don't need. Think about that. If you think about crazy fast car, you're always going to keep up with the, the Joneses. There's always a more expensive car, a faster car, a bigger house, a more expensive house, nicer property, nicer real estate, a, a, a business generating more income, whatever. Things that you don't absolutely need, you will never have enough of. Now, certainly, it's okay to want them. It's okay to want and enjoy the finer things in life. But at the end of the day, you will never have enough of things that you don't actually and absolutely need. So certainly enjoy them, but understand what's important. And that's the time that we live in right now. Show up for yourself. Show up for the loved ones in your life. One of the things I was talking about is a lot of kids are meeting their parents, this version of their parents for the first time. Why? Because their parents are so freaking busy. Because they're overworked. They're stressed. They need to decompress. We all know how I feel about that word. A lot of kids are meeting their parents for the first time. A lot of parents are actually meeting their kids for the first time. Why? Because they don't understand all the things that they want and need and do and are interested in. That's what's important. There's the exponential part of life. All the other stuff's a byproduct, you know? Build a stable up here, the mental part. But don't give yourself outs. Do it anyway. Do it anyway is important. I know I'm kind of rambling and everything and and thanks for showing up for me. If you're listening to this right now, you have no idea what that means to me. Uh, in fact, if you showed up, if you heard this, my Instagram handle is Greg Kimball, at, or it's at Greg Kimball, um, G-R-E-G-K-I-M-B-L-E. So at Greg Kimball, I just want you to, whatever my most recent post is, I just want you to comment hashtag I showed up. And let's see how many people actually showed up because I don't care if I'm talking to one person or 1 million people or 10 people. I don't care. I'm going to show up. And if you showed up, I appreciate the heck out of you because I chose to do it anyway, you know? So there's another thing. If do it anyway matters to you and do it anyway hit you any kind of way, if, if do it anyway is resonating with you, give me a hashtag do it anyway. So with that being said, this is Greg Kimball with The Final Percent. I appreciate the absolute ever-living heck out of you. And I will see you tomorrow because you know what? Even if I'm dog-tired tomorrow, I will do it anyway. Why? Because I'm going to show up. It's not